Okay, um, my name is Salvador Espinosa, and I'm going to explain the, um, the a Kanban system very simply, how you can put together a very easy uh, system to establish a continuous supply chain to your production line. So basically, we have, as we have uh, discussed, um, you have three levels of inventory. is point of use inventory, you have size stocking or what is called in other companies supermarket, right? And then you have your warehouse. Um, this is normally where this is under a very strict control of materials, this side of the um, uh, inventory control, which is the warehouse. And then this is more like a work in progress, uh, a whip. It's called more like work in process uh, inventory. So you have in point of views basically on the, on the line uh, by, by where, where people is actually assembling uh, products. And then you have this size stocking, which is in the proximity uh, that has a higher rotation inventory. So in this example, basically when you pull one unit, um, you have, uh, let's discuss about the, um, how to estimate uh, the, uh, the Kanban level. So basically this, uh, in this example, uh, the requirement, the weekly requirements of, of this, um, let's say, raw material is two units per week, right? Two units per week, and then the lead time is five. So the way you estimate that, this is uh, time uh, versus uh, inventory levels. So what you do is say, okay, in five weeks, I need to have at least uh, the multiplication between the two, five times two weeks, that will give you a minimum of 10 units that you need to have as a minimum, your minimum in your inventory at all times. And then from there you establish um, the, uh, what, what we call a, a cushion or a safety stock. In this case, we are going for two weeks, which means that on top of the 10, you will have another four units, two units per week, four, a total of 14 units total in your system. So once you define that, a very, very simple uh, um, uh, math of, of inventory maxim, minimum and maximum, what you do is, okay, I'm gonna define, and this is completely arbitrary and every company does it differently. You say, hey, I'm gonna have two weeks of inventory in my um, uh, point of views I'm gonna go with two weeks on my um, size stocking of supermarkets, and then in the warehouse, I'm gonna have the balance of three weeks. If you notice uh, the planning uh, horizon that we use is what this five weeks of the lead time plus two is the seven weeks that you need to have in total. So it's two plus two is four, plus three are the seven that you need, and the 14 units are spread that way one to four in, in point of use, uh, five to eight in, in, in size stocking, and then the three weeks right here, right, these three weeks uh, that you can see here are in the warehouse, okay? So with that said, um, how this system works, so people pull one material from the, your point of use, and then what happens, they attach the Kanban card, put it in the what we call the uh, mailbox of point of use, where the water spider uh, takes that Kanban card and with that signal, he understands that he needs to replenish the point of use inventory. So what he does goes to the next level, which is this size stocking, basically exchanges the Kanban card, the yellow uh, Kanban card, which is the point of use Kanban cards, and, and just uh, basically also sends the signal up the stream in the supply to in their size stocking uh, mailbox to indicate that needs to be replenished from the warehouse. So exchanging that card, put, put the yellow card into the uh, uh, um, product and that is then placed in the point of use. This is, as I said, done by the production control or the wire spiders and that way you complete, again, you refulfill the point of use. This is normally done once a day. 
uh, or maybe every two days since you have here two weeks of inventory you can even actually can do it once a week uh, in this example so but many companies what they do is just make sure that every shift they don't have point of views uh, mailbox uh, signals in other words they refulfill all the Kanbans on the point of view so at any rate from there uh, w when we send the signal to to the upstream to the size talking uh, mailbox uh, what happens then is that uh, at this point the warehouse team or uh, which is on charge this is more like a water spider is point of views down and uh, in some organizations, even the size talking is responsibility of water spider. So what they do is then they take these signals and they have even more time to do that, probably once a week in this case. And what they do is, okay, they go to the warehouse and then they basically exchange again the, the blue card that is the size talking with the um, green card that is part of the uh, warehouse and basically again they go and place the or replenish the uh, size token with that signal and then you are complete now with your size token what happened next is probably the biggest question for many companies uh, what what we do next right so what happens is that you took you exchange this card the blue by the green i mean the i mean you exchange the yeah you put the blue in the product and took the signal of the green of the green uh, Kanban card into the what we call new PO mailbox. So what it does is at this point the signal is saying, hey, I don't have any other inventory levels upstream, so I need to at this point take this signal means I need to place a PO. So what happens there, and if you follow this uh, this arrow, what happens is this is this this is a MRP PO processing. Uh, database so basically whatever you use uh, you take this Kanban card process the PO there is a lead time that is uh, here that's what I have this arrow here that because it takes time in terms of the um, vendor to complete or ship the product some companies had blanket PO that covers a full year or a month or um, is constantly like a, a, a bigger quantity and then they manage the uh, Kanban card as a release, uh, PO release, uh, let's say signal or approval. So anyway, so my whole point is that this card um, goes and, and, and makes that the purchasing manager or materials managers go ahead with his team and they place a new PO. In some cases, they actually print out, uh, as is indicated here, print out the PO because ultimately this PO will be used by the receiving team. So they print out the PO, attach the Kanban card to it, staple it, and then they place, place that document in what we called, uh, this is called the uh, um, uh, waiting for receiving mailbox. And you will have a bunch of green cards there and all what it is is going to be all the material that is uh, in transit uh, or in process to be refulfilled by your vendors. So uh, a good practice is that the people in the receiving area, they review this uh, mailbox of, of, of let's say pending to receive POs and you, they use that mailbox to really every time that a truck shows up they use this documentation. So that is no surprises. They are waiting and they need to have here the committing uh, estimated time of arrival of every material. And in some organizations, the, this um, um, uh, mailbox is basically a calendar. Of, of, it's just like, a, uh, I will draw it here very quickly. It's just like a box with the following month, uh, one to 30, um, um, kind of a box and they actually are placing in, the, in, in, the, in that mailbox uh, they place the PO uh, let's say th this is the following month right let's say that we are today in November uh, 11 so they know that it's going to arrive in, in this let's assume that it's five weeks it's going to arrive in, by December 15 so they go ahead and place the um, 
the, the uh, PO in that, in that number. So that way they have a perfect control, visual control of when material is gonna arrive. And, and that's, that's how you avoid to lose these Kanban cards using these, uh, as I said, this uh, um, uh, mailbox of pending to receive PO. So I hope this video clarifies what to do with these cards and how this Kanban system works. And um, this is a big relief for your company in terms of cash flow, don't overdrive material, connects the actual production pool to your to replenishment only and that will that will be like an incre incredible uh, relief for your company especially in these hard times of covid and and where money is scarce and and you need to make sure that every every dollar counts so hope this is helpful and talk to you soon and don't forget call me or reach out if you have any questions have a great day